current sons and daughters of Mother Tuskegee. I too am a daughter of Mother Tuskegee, and I want to share just a little bit about myself with you. I was born right across the way on this campus at John A. Andrew Memorial Hospital. And most of my 66 years has been spent in, on, and around the buildings on this campus. When I was four years old, my educational career began at Russell Nursery School, which still stands. It's right across from Chappie James. And when I turned five, I went next door to Chambliss Children's House. I went there from kindergarten through eighth grade. And I have very fond memories of walking, and you will know the Chambliss building as the band uh, building now. That's where the band practices now, but that was my elementary school. And I have very fond memories of my teachers walking us from that building to this building over here, which is the Carver Museum, taking us across the street to the Oaks for field trips. So a lot of my early childhood was spent on this campus. When I left Chambliss Children's House, I went right up the road to Tuskegee Institute High School, spent four years there and met the love of my life, my husband of 46 years. We went to church in the village of Greenwood. I went to church at Greenwood Missionary Baptist Church and have always, with the exception of very few years, lived in and around this community. So, what does that have to do with now? I want to talk about Booker T. Washington for just a minute. And it just so happens that we are on the eve of the, the birthday of Tuskegee Institute, Tuskegee Normal and Industrial Institute. Tomorrow is July 4th. And on that day, I celebrate the founding of this institution that still stands all these years later. But Booker T. Washington was such a visionary genius that when he founded the school, he also founded a community around the school, and that was the historic Greenwood community. That community was his uh, brainchild. It was where he envisioned his faculty and his staff living, and they did up until not too many years ago. It was a community that was deeply symbiotically related to the university. So when I was a child, of course, there was no iron gate that separated the community from this university. So the children in the community were always welcome on campus. I can remember going to movies at Logan Hall when we were in elementary school on Friday nights. So there was always something going on on campus that we were always welcome to be a part of. And the students were also a part of the community. And so what does that have to do with 2020? Well, I retired from a 40-year career of teaching young people, educating young people. Um, and now I am freed up to do some other things. And I'll share that with you in just a little bit. But I wanted to say that I've met several of you uh, over the years as you have worked with, uh, because I'm affiliated with the Black Belt Deliberative Dialogue Group, which is a campus community partnership, because I have worked for three years with the sister circles that are sponsored by Nature's Garden for Victory and Peace. I've worked with some of you in YBAM, which was named for a local hero, Sammy Young Jr., and was founded by a dear friend, Lindsay Lunsford, who is also a daughter of Mother Tuskegee. I am familiar with and know very well the founders of Rebuild Tuskegee, who are Tuskegee grads, Jaslyn Fuller, and Aaliyah Sanders, and have worked with them on various projects. And I've worked with some of you in the community as you've come to places like TM46 and worked with us there. Some of you have uh, been affiliated with RISE. I know some of the young people with RISE. So I'm asking that you all consider something. I'm going to take a leap of faith in August, and I will be on the ballot as a candidate for District 1. District 1 includes Tuskegee University, it includes the historic Greenwood Village, it includes the surrounding area. One of my visions is to again recreate a situation where we come and go between this university and the community sharing ideas, sharing resources, sharing ways to make both of us better and stronger. 
So I am asking you, August 25th, to please, 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 please consider voting for Norma McGowan Jackson. Some of you know me as Mama Iyabode. I am a candidate for city council, and I look forward to having you help me to create a community campus partnership again that will benefit all of us. So as one daughter of Mother Tuskegee to the rest of you, I wish you Godspeed. I wish you blessings during this COVID season. I wish you health and well-being. And I ask for your prayers and your vote on August 25th.